my favourite view of Truro. I, I think coming in on the train is my favourite view of Truro, looking down over the city with the cathedral sticking up in the middle. My favourite view of Truro is walking into town down Tregolls Road and seeing the whole of Truro stretch out in front of me. Up the hill from Falmouth and you hit the roundabout and then you, you descend down into Truro and you see the whole town and you see the lovely spires that ascend above the, all the buildings. As you go up to the train station and you go right into Brunel Court at about six o'clock um, when it's dark in the winter when the uh, cathedrals are lit up. I grew up in Truro, but always found if you go away on the train somewhere, you come back, and as you get back around the corner, then there it all is. St Clement's Cemetery, and it's right at the top, so you've got a beautiful view of the viaduct. I think you can see the Crown Court, so it looks that way into Truro. On the eastern side of the old bridge in Old Bridge Street, looking over the parapet. In the summer, there'll be a little shoal of blue mullet swimming against the current and standing still and just feeding on what's coming down from what Cornwall's bringing down to feed the blue mullet. Uh, looking up, uh, standing on the bridge, looking up the River Lemon uh, with the cathedral in the background. I'm going to say the skate park. <laughs> if you go there on a Saturday you'll see why it's so important when there's a thousand kids there all enjoying it and off the streets. Near Sunny Corner and Boscown Park um, it's lovely to see in the morning uh, the mist laying on the river and as you look down towards Chiro you see the cathedral and the quay and the star of the whole city, it's beautiful. Uh, from 5 Lower Rosemary Rose, bedroom. I like Truro. It's got a nice atmosphere. It doesn't feel, it's, it's kind of, it's a city but it's a town, you know. It's a city because it's got a cathedral because it's a city but it's, it feels like a, a friendly town. Truro means my ancestry, my mum grew up here, um, her parents grew up here, my family have run businesses in Truro and now I'm proud to be running a business in Truro myself. Now, I lived away for about 26 years I think and then I came back and there was this uh, intense feeling of coming home and being in the right place again. Um, Truro means to me um, the beginning of my career working um, and I love it as my new home town. So I always think that, that all the seagulls flying around in the sky, you know, they're all up there protesting at the fact that we're all down here and we put this great covering of concrete and tarmac and stuff all over their natural feeding grounds. And so they're up there complaining. Underneath, we have contained the rivers. In the middle of all this sort of modernist, brutalist concrete, the multi-storey car park and the old carrot offices and all that, there is the willow trees that drop down into this stream that flows down through the middle of the tree very quietly, you know. What I always think about is, is the fact that actually it's a swamp, it's a delta, uh, it's mud, uh, that there's a whole life going on underneath, that them up there is whirling about, screeching, know all about, and we don't know anything about it at all. My perception of Tarot is a body of people, a community if you like, which exists are almost separate to the business community. I really like the fact that the perception of it's not necessarily of Truro just as a trading centre, an administration centre, but behind the scenes there is a living and evolving community which in my opinion is a healthy one. That's a place in Camden. It's where I've lived my whole life. When I think of Truro I think of home and I think of work and play. It's been my childhood, my middle age and my old age. It's home to me. Dum-dum!